viewers to another episode on SOG 12 exams. So this is the last episode of this a series where we've been looking at the November 2022 mathematics paper 1. So basically this is the 16th episode. In the first 15 episode we covered question 1 through 22. So let us move straight to question 23. The diagram below is the speed time graph of an object. The object starts from rest and accelerates uniformly for 2 seconds until it reaches a speed of 10 meters per second. It then travels at this speed for 8 seconds and finally decelerates to rest after 5 seconds. Find the question A retardation of the object in the last 5 seconds. So basically we are looking at uh, this part okay so what we do is basically we know that our acceleration is given by final velocity minus initial velocity over basically change in time which we shall call t okay so we know that uh, the final velocity is basically zero minus initial velocity at the, this point started retardation which is 10 which is 10 meters per second divided by time it took so it's basically 15 uh, minus 10 we end up with basically minus uh, 10 over 5 then this gives us minus 2 meters per second square as our acceleration now because we are already told to find the tradition so this is basically means 2 meters per second square so once you put 2 meters negative 2 meters per second it implies that you see deceleration or retardation if you put 2 meters per second positive it means it's acceleration so remember to take care of that uh, common mistake then uh, basically being distance traveled in the first 10 seconds so basically to find the distance traveled in the first 10 seconds we need to find the, uh, the area under this the first part which is which i'll call m then the area under b that will give us in the total distance traveled so distance traveled in this case which is the sub, sub distance i'll use a small d will equal to basically area under a plus area under b so area under a is basically the triangle half multiplied by in this case we have two multiplied by the height which is 10 then plus b you see in this case 10 minus 2 multiplied by the height which is uh, 10 minus 0 which is 10 then we're going to end up with basically half multiplied by 10 times 2 which is 20 then plus uh, 8 multiplied by 10 so this will give me basically 10 plus uh, basically 80 we end up with basically 90 meters as in the distance traveled then we go to see average speed of the object for the whole journey so if you are to find the average speed we also need to know the distance traveled under this c so that we know the total distance remember average speed is given by total distance over time then the total distance is equal to area under a plus area under b plus area under c this area under a and b we know what it is is equal to 90 then plus c so we can find c by doing the same thing that we did with area a which is basically this multiplied by that then times half so c area under c is half multiplied by basically uh, 15 minus 10 then multiply by uh, 10 which is uh, 10 minus 0 which is the height then we are going to end up with basically half multiplied by 5 multiplied by 10 it will be 5 times 10 is 50 divided by 2 we multiply by half it will be 25 meters so to find the total distance I can use this space D is equal to basically 90 plus 25 which is basically equal to 115 meters then speed average speed for c c in this case is equal to now let me just maybe clean up here so that i use this so it will be equal to now 115 meters divided by uh, the total time which is taken here which is in this case 15. so we divide now what we do is we can divide by 5 
So 5 into 15, you see basically 3. 5 into 11, you see basically 2. Remainder 1. 5 into 15 is basically uh, 3. So we're, we're going to have 23 over 3. Then we can do further division. What we're going to end up, you see basically uh, 3 into 20. 3 is 7. Remainder 2. So we are going to have that meters per second as the average speed, which is basically 7. 2 over 3 meters per second as in the average speed. So basically, this is how you answer this question to get um, the 60 max. This question is one of the simplest questions that normally comes in an exam, and this is usually the last question. So thank you for joining me in this episode where I focused on mathematics, paper 1 from the 2021 internal exams which are the november exams so please if you find this video uh help please consider liking it sharing it and if you have not subscribed to our channel please consider subscribing by subscribing you help us to improve our visibility and reach as many as possible so please don't forget to join me in the next episode where i'll start looking at it, paper two thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this a video to be very helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Once you go to our channel, we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you. You'll notice that we've got uh, mathematics, uh, physics, and chemistry. We've also got a section that is uh, arranged by topics. You could be uh, finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.